is going on, dudes? It is Zero Duke, and we are back with part number two of the three block challenge judging uh, for uh, this is three block challenge two. Also, uh, we are in season three here on the Infinite Heights Minecraft server, and uh, we're about to get on the second part. If you are checking us out on the live stream, thank you so much for joining us again. I hope you stuck around from the first part to this part. If you are, if you are checking us out. Uh, later on the YouTubes, go back and watch part number one so you can see the first half of the judging that we did. Um, I got some special guest judges with me, so let's get uh, let's get after it. We got Slick77. What's up, buddy? Big guys. We also have number one Slug. What's up, Drunk Slugs? How's it going? How you guys doing? So we are, again, we are doing the second half of the judging. Uh, we're starting off at plot number six. So we have. <laughs> I'm not looking at the title, and I'm just looking at what this is, and it's it's awesome looking. But we have the mini wingless rooster that is partially shaved in the back <laughs> by by mythic in plot number seven. <laughs> the obese chicken little. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought it was. I thought it was a morbidly obese chicken little. That is. <laughs> That is the first thing I thought when I saw this, and I thought it was incredible, and it is. And it is, it is partially shaved in the back. Just because. That's kind of cool. The mini wingless rooster. I would love to know. I think is another one who's like, Skill has been increasing every challenge too. Yeah, I agree. I hate him though, down to his plums. Well, I don't like his. But... I don't like his face really. I like his bluish, bluish hue plums. Oh, there's Disc. What's up, buddy? Hi, Disco. <laughs> Hi, hey, Canadians. Stupid maple sucking moose kisser. Anyway, uh, he's Canadian. Um. <laughs> from back here, I get like a like a mech kind of a vibe from it, like a. Thank God I wasn't the only one. Yeah, no, I definitely get like a a timber wolf. Remember from the Mech Warrior series? Anybody? I did not watch that any of that. Just me. That's all right. Uh, I get a little timber wolfy kind of vibe. Mythic apparently blames Mike for the back being shaved. Fine. Disgusting. <laughs> sure. I can read between the lines. I can also, unfortunately, read between all manner of line. I find this one offensive. I have a hard enough time reading. <laughs> we'll read it for you, don't <laughs> worry. Uh, this is... This is awesome. He's so pudgy. He's so pudgy. He doesn't have a tail, he's just pudgy, he's partially shaved. It reminds me of Slicks for some reason. I don't know why Why that totally is. Shaved. Oh, totally shaved, it would be you. Okay. <laughs> oh, you got that before and after pick, Slicks? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't please, post the after. Please post it. Please post it. Now, this is, this is a very entertaining build, Mythic. We all get chubby rooster chick from it awesome that's a fun build mythic thanks buddy it is thanks buddy so here we are in plot number eight uh also want to mention to you guys if you are it looks like that looks like fun um if you are checking us out on the live stream you can head to play.infiniteheightsmc.com if you're not already on our server you can do slash 3bc and vote for the player's choice uh award and this is for whoever you like there are blue signs there click the button while standing on the circle stone you'll be teleported and able to cast your vote we are tracking the votes in the corner of the screen right now looks like plot number four is winning with five votes for the player choice award but there's still time so definitely go and vote if you are checking this out on youtube you missed your chance man you should have been there man it was awesome um so yeah plot eight moldy moldern uh an aussie coral trout in great barrier reef view at night time set night 
So we have what appears to be a little fishing lure about to be gobbled up by this fish. And it looks incredible. Got fish eyes with signs. Got awesome detailed coral. Before casting my vote, I had to come back and look at this several times mm -hmm. to figure out why I wasn't going to. And the reason being is that I feel like the coral is freaking awesome with all these stairs. It's That's exactly how coral should be, just completely random. Yes. But I feel like there's not enough stairs on the fish and it's just too tube-like. Too tube-like? Yeah. Oh, like um, like pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I didn't I didn't hear you correctly. I know I know what you're saying though. Like an eel. Yeah. I mean, we are barely past the collar of the fish. I don't think there's enough fish for us to. I don't personally think there's enough fish there to let me feel like the fish is necessarily too tube-like, but I 100% get what you're saying, Slicks, because three-quarters of what we are shown has essentially the same cross-section, which is that kind of plus-shaped circular kind of... Minecraft circular kind of tube thing. So I, I get what you're saying. I, I just... I wish there was more fish here like i wish he would have just kept building this fish because i gotta believe he would have had it curled around like it was kind of coming up to take this to take a bite out of this bait um because moldy is moldy is uh is awesome is extra nice with this but part of the challenge of the 3bc is to work within the parameters that you're given and one of those parameters is the 11 by 11 by 11 plot and I don't know if maybe it should have been a different kind of fish that was stubbier, or maybe the fish could have been smaller in some way. I mean, it's it's epic how it is, but I would just there's just this. It's kind of cut off at the back here, and from this side, three of the sides looking at this for me are awesome, and this this last side is just not as awesome. And I think the fact that the other three sides are so intensely awesome makes this side look even less so. I don't know what do you guys what do you guys think. Yeah, I, I like being, it. I think I might be a little um, being a little unfair. I'm kind of judging it compared to what I've seen for the organic builds of Tropic and uh, Mythic. Yeah, you gotta. I mean, you gotta gotta look at this and yeah. and, and judge this for for what for what we're actually looking at here. You know what I mean? This is better than what I would have made for a fish. So. <laughs> I I would never have even I would never in a million years have even thought of a fish. And I think what he's rendered as far as how all the like mouth parts kind of move on the fish and kind of open up and change the shape of the head, I think he's captured that really really well. Cuz when if you if you've ever seen fish mouths opening, the whole geometry of their face changes when they do it. What were you going to say? Uh, what were you gonna say, Slugs? Started talking, so nothing. You, you, you dug the build. Yeah, that was it. Trout is fresh water, right? As far yes. as as far as I know, yeah. I don't. I mean, there's no reason. I mean, he's he's saying this is a coral trout. In the Great Barrier Reef, it's possible that there is some kind of saltwater trout down in Aust Australia that I just don't know about. It's very likely, actually, not just possible. But I don't know. That's a solid build, Mulder. Very cool. Very cool snapshot into a larger scene there. Well done. Plot number nine or Mancora. We have Scorpion protecting its nest. I came back to look at this so many times. This is an unbelievable scorpion. Yeah. Well, 
What do you think of this scorpion slugs? I like it. It's pretty cool. It's got his tail erect, defending its eggs, like it said. Yep. Pretty menacing. Yeah, I agree. The 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 sense of kind of aggression is definitely present in this, and I really like how it says protecting its nest and scorpions burrow. If you don't know, um, not that I'm some kind of animal expert, but he's um, and Cora's also given us this little this little kind of implied this little hole in the ground here that it's hovering over in the center, which I think is really awesome. So like the the <clears throat> excuse me the the jungle planks aren't just there as some kind of filler or ground in general. They're actually incorporated meaningfully into into the greater composition, which I think is awesome. I like how much. Oh, there's better room for. I like the consistency. I don't think it's the right word for it, but that's what I'm going to use of the orange wool blocks and the. Oh, what? Whoa, whoa. Hey. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> that. <laughs> what, am I, I, what am I supposed to do with this? So, any, like I was saying. People. Vacation. People watching the live stream. People checking this out. What am I supposed to do with this? Go ahead, Slicks. Go ahead. Just. I, I like the consistency of the acacia stairs and the orange uh, wool blocks based upon the acacia stairs as the armor, whereas the wool would be the flesh of the yes. scorpion. Yep. And the brown uh, blocks would just be a little bit more duller, somewhat older uh, scale of the scorpion. Yeah, I like that. I, I, I thought about it slightly differently. Um, I get exactly how you kind of assigned those purposes, like, you know, flesh or, or armor plating. I kind of started to interpret them as, like, shadows or highlights of, like, light hitting hitting them um, in different ways. Uh, and there, yeah, there's... That's really cool. Yeah, there's, there's, there's some tiny things about it that make make a little bit less sense sense but like like it's missing some legs they should have more legs i think scorpions have like 10 legs um but that's not that's not that important because everybody that looks at this looks at it and says oh that's a scorpion so the you know the point is the point is driven home but um what i really love is how this this leg right here is kind of just raised up a little bit like it's maybe moving forward attack mode yeah that is just that is awesome and i think that adds to adds to some real menace too only tiny thing that i would have changed is that this one this build is very straight on the axis and if it was maybe thrown a curve in some way to just kind of keep it a little bit off center and maybe the tail was kind of looping up over into this back corner here and coming back down at an angle somehow and maybe it was kind of turned a little bit more but that's just that's just minor things this is a really awesome build it's a really awesome scorpion for sure in scorpion tails turn in, in different directions i'm not i don't mean that maybe i don't i don't actually know i don't mean that there should be some strange bend in the scorpion tail itself I just mean that maybe the butt part of the scorpion was centered back in that direction so that it would look as if the tail was coming. Okay. So instead of the tail, like the tail can be straight on line like this, but just kind of rotated to the side a little bit more so that the blocks were angled instead of straight down the axis. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but that's an awesome build, man. Cora, thanks, buddy. What the? Are you breaking more blocks? No. Uh, I had a couple blocks in my inventory and they just all left. Well. You bet. Maybe, maybe you're just really bad and that's why. Uh, plot number 10, player kite. This reminds me of a gyroscope. Mm 
Okay. Um, this looks like something that should definitely be in a sci-fi book. Mm -hmm. uh, Drunk and I were talking about this earlier, and I was thinking that this, if you give more space, would be longer. Mm -hmm. So this could maybe move up and down and rotate a little bit, but Drunk was thinking that this should, it was actually a good size, but this should be just spinning in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it should be spinning too, like a, I get gyroscope from this, I think it should be spinning, or flywheel or something. What do you think, Slug? Like a cool building in Dubai or something? Yeah. Some clever usage of the blocks, though. I agree. Um, I think this is cool. It's created a, a shape, but there are some holes punched through it, so the shape isn't too solid. It's a little airy, which is kind of cool. I dig the way the blocks are patterned here. He's got an orange wool block in the center of all of it, so maybe that's supposed to be some type of light source. Could be. Could be. One at the bottom, too. And one are there the torches? There are no torches. Um, which for next time might have been might be a better idea because we could turn you could turn all the lights off, let's say, and then throw torches in, and then they could actually be light sources instead of us wondering if they would be light sources or anything. Also, a sign to just kind of help us understand what you were thinking about when you made it, Mancora, would be cool. This is definitely awesome. I just want to kind of, you know, say that what we what we said earlier, maybe back in the first part about about symmetrical builds, I think still is kind of true here. Um, where no matter what side we view this from, it's kind of the same kind of the same thing. And there are other builds that give us different, more interesting things to look at as we change sides. But this is still definitely a solid build. Definitely, definitely a solid build. And I mean the. I think the fact that we can all look at this and it makes us think of all these different things just kind of just kind of gives credit to to how cool the build is for sure. Player kite. Very cool. Is this his first 3 BC? I think it is. I was just thinking that Yeah, I was I was just thinking that, and I think that it is. So welcome to the three BC. If it's not, sorry. Sorry, man. Keep no at offense, it though. But definitely keep at it. For sure. We have in plot number eleven, Cami Cakes, with. Uh, I'm gonna say that this, say this build is incomplete because uh, it's either incomplete or DQ because she didn't use all three of the blocks. So let's let's just go with incomplete. <laughs> Move on to the next one. Kimmy Cakes, come on, you can't come back for like 10 minutes, start the 3BC, and then just leave. Come on, man. Plot number 12, She probably, you know what? She probably thought it was judging on Friday. Um, plot number 12, Outcast. Andy. Outcast. Enderman. What is this? This looks like those ball robots in the newer Star Wars movies. Um, droids, the little the little droids that roll forward and open up, and then the guns come out. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't think of droid for some reason. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> I agree. And if you if you look closely, you can see that it is subtly. Not symmetrical. Hold on, guys. Slix is gone. He maybe needs more Senka. So we had high class Folgers. Good stuff. It's the good stuff. Straight from the can. Mm -hmm. One can dream. <laughs> it's a big can, too. <laughs> I am thinking. 
I mean, this is a cool build. I would have loved... I know Outcast is a creative dude. Outcast, you're a creative dude. I know that Outcast is a creative dude, so I'm thinking... He could have given us a good sign to help us understand what he was trying to do here. Um, unless this is a really simple basic object and I'm just happening to miss it. Is that what's going on? Or this looks like an abstract build to you guys too? Yeah, maybe he was trying to go somewhere with it. Um, he had two ideas what this might be. Either a mag netic device where this would be the power source mm -hmm. and these three on the other side would be where the magnets would be and this is the motion of it picking up something heavy and metal okay like motion lines or this would be like a really nice fountain this is where the water is drawn and this is where it's dispensed oh a fountain yeah, i never thought of that never thought of that I could see I could see both of those things. I could see both of those things, but I I mean just I think maybe the design is cool and what we're looking at is cool. Don't know exactly what it is. Um I'm just I think I'm just getting just a little bit too much jungle slabs. Yeah, I think I'm getting too much as just yeah. as a, as a proportion, right? A little bit, not much, but a little bit. I really want to know what the eight squares of wool on the bottom are. They don't seem, really seem to be connected to anything. They don't. And there's one kind of in the middle, in the back here. Hmm. Lots of questions. I wish there were more answers. Signs next time, Outcast. Come on. Come on, Ming. Help me out, buddy. But that's a solid build. It is a cool build. I appreciate the asymmetry. The quasi-symmetry that you have there. Very cool. Very cool. Cool build, Outcast. Way to go, buddy. Plot number 13, Ian Creeper style. Where's your build, brah? Where's your build, brah? He's going to complain to me, too. He's going to be like, oh, I didn't know. That be... Dude, come on. Plot number 14, Exempt Gamer. Time, nighttime, not needed, recommended. Hint, think of a ginger dwarf face only. of a ginger dwarf face. Hmm. You guys getting a face? Yes, you have to kind of stand back here behind Zulin. Uh, here's its eyes. Uh, yeah, I think I think I'm black. I think I'm getting it. It has like a big like red handlebar mustache and big red eyebrows. Yeah, I'm kind of getting it. Little nostrils, little nose right there. I get it. That's a cool idea. That's a cool idea. Is this? Uh, yeah, and that's a symmetrical build. So every side you can see a face. Now, do you guys remember? A while back we had some we had a build that was like different faces on each side depending on how you looked at it do you guys remember that i do oh it was a house that was awesome this kind of reminds me of that a little bit that kind of concept it doesn't look like it didn't look like this at all but the concept kind of reminds me i'm definitely getting that face now it is a cool abstract kind of symmetrical temple kind of build thing which is cool Oh man, this is right up my alley. I see you, but can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Yeah, I see you just fine. So this is up your alley, Slicks. Talk to us about it, buddy. One of my favorite characters in general, like uh, around um, 
role-playing games is just dwarves. They're just my favorite. In fact, I was going to start reading a book soon called War of the Dwarves. Okay. Which pictures a red-haired dwarf with a big old mustache. Nice. So this is right... This is literally right up your alley. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very cool. Solid Highly build. Recommended. Solid build exempt. What do you think, Slugs? I kind of like it. I... S Still don't really see the face. I can understand how there is a face, though. Yeah, I I wouldn't like I, I I don't know if I would say that there's a face there. I would say that there is a nose, eyes, and a mustache. That's all I can see. It reminds me like those pieces kind of come together to imply a face, but there's not like it's not like a Mount Rushmore thing where there's a face in there. You know? <laughs> yeah, cool concept. It is a very cool concept. Good job, exempt. So, whew, we are going to start the judging next. Dudes that are checking us out on a live stream, stick around. We're going to be back for part three in just a second. If you are on the server watching this now, go vote. It's your last chance to vote for the Player's Choice Award, which is a new award that we started doing here. Do slash 3BC. Push the button under the sign that says vote here. It's very simple. Go ahead and do it. Cast your vote right now. Plot four is in the lead. Six votes over plot number eight with five votes. Time's running out, dudes. Definitely place your votes. Stick around, dudes watching us on the live stream, which I do appreciate appreciate you guys doing. Thank you so much for that. If you're checking us out on YouTube, go back and watch part number one or go watch part number three, and you should have been at the live stream. You should have been there. You should have been there. It was a lot of fun. Um, and again, stick around, dudes. We're going to be right back.